Hey everyone, welcome back to Thriftmas Day 2. Today we're actually going to go thrifting at Salvation Army. I don't go here very often, but when I have gone, I've gotten some really good vintage things. So today we're going to thrift for like the 90s model off-duty style. It's kind of basically just like 90s supermodels and their street style. Think like Kate Moss and like Christy Turlington in the 90s and think like Bella Hadid now. So it's a lot of like bandeau tops and big blazers and mini skirts and tall boots. It's very effortlessly chic and quite sleek and I really, really like this style so I'm excited to thrift for it let's go inside I'm gonna start off in the dresses because they wear a lot of like silk slip dresses This jumpsuit is very nice. It's also vintage. Look how perfect this dress is. There's even a tag right here, and that means it was like made in the 70s. I think another part of it is trench coats and leather, so I'm gonna check out the jackets. I love this leather jacket with the belt. This is where all the trench coats are, and I guess they don't have any in my size, but they do have some really cute ones. Like this wool one is adorable. I really like these Levi's. I like how wide they are at the bottom and the wash. They're really cute. Um, I'm not sure if they fit me. Another good place to look at the intimates, because they were a lot of like slinky silk things. You guys, this is vintage Woodward's. I love the sheen and this lace. Um, it is so cute, but it won't fit me, but I really like it. I'm in the tanks now looking for like bandeau tops and like just slinky black things, basically. This little tank looks vintage and it looks tight, which fixes the aesthetic, but I think the blue might wash me out. I'm gonna look in a mirror. My new obsession is definitely looking into sleepwear for like silk sets um, and anything vintage. I haven't found very much yet though. There was definitely like suit sets that I saw in some of the pictures, um, but these, none of them are just really like the pictures. Again, I wanna find an oversized blazer. This is a very cool vintage blazer. Um, look at these tanks. It's just not really the oversized blazer I'm looking for, so I probably shouldn't get it. I think they say they were made in Canada. Are these the boots I've been looking for? I love these riding boots, are you kidding me? They fit so good and they are so cute. I would also love to find leather gloves. I feel like that goes to the aesthetic. I also found this weird little hat um, that looks super vintage here. Holy cow, I think I just found a real Louis Vuitton bag in the back here. I think my dreams were just dashed though because it's ripped right here. It does definitely have some imperfections. I can't really tell if it's real though. I don't think they wear a ton of sweaters because where they live isn't very cold, but I still want to look in the sweaters for my own interest. I'm in the activewear because they for sure wear tracksuits. I've been looking for a skirt section because I feel like that's really key to the look, but I can't find it. Okay, update, I found the skirts and I actually really like this one. For the aesthetic, I'm also looking for like some tighter collared tops. I really like the construction of this, like it feels really good quality, except it's 100% polyester, so I don't love that. I'm considering it. Oh my goodness, these are real leather pants. I really wish they fit me, I just I think they'd be too big, but they'd be so perfect for our theme. I love this vintage men's bomber jacket, it is so nice. Okay, it is time to make some decisions. I think I was almost duped by this. The zipper is plastic, so it's probably fake, which is really sad. 
You see me doing my part of it anyway. Okay, so we're back in the car. I got about five things, so I'm really excited to style them for the aesthetic. I think it's gonna be really good, and I'll see you guys at the haul. Okay, so we are back now. Again, I was looking for model off-duty looks, particularly from the 90s. A lot of them I found on Pinterest, and I think I got some really good things. So this is kind of my take on the whole 90s model off-duty look. Some of them are sort of casual, and a lot of them are really dressy, so I'm excited to show you guys. Let's get into it. Starting off, one of the first things I found was this black black jumpsuit. It has white trim along it and these big black buttons in the front and the legs are quite wide too. I think it's really really cute. It definitely has that 90s model look to it. It's very classy and put together. If I wanted to dress it down I would probably wear like loafers and like a regular bag with it or some kind of slides. If I wanted to dress it up I would probably wear heels and like maybe put my hair up or something. Anyways the brand is JR Petites and it was made in Canada. It is a little bit big on me but I just couldn't say no because of the construction and because it just fit with our theme so well. The next thing I got is this pink dress. The brand is Missy House and it was made in Canada. It also has this old union tag here, but what I loved about it was number one that it was obviously very vintage and I also love this little band right here. I think it looks really nice. The color is maybe a little light for me, but I just have to make sure that I do like really saturated makeup. I love the length and I love the flowiness of the fabric. It just, it drapes so nicely, especially with this little pleating up here at the shoulder. It is a very well-made dress and although it's not like casual street style for models, I feel like it is definitely like a classy piece that like a model would potentially wear. I feel like the only way you could really dress it down would be wearing like a sweater over top of it, um, but I would probably just wear it as is with a pair of heels going out kind of thing. Next up, one of the things on my list was to get an oversized black blazer and I finally found one. It is this Anne Klein black blazer. I have been looking for so, so long in blazers. You guys know I don't have like a ton of luck there, but I finally found one that I think I actually really, really like. It fits me well on the shoulders while actually still being like a good length for me, not too short, not too long. I also really like that all the edges have this nice trimming on it. I think that looks really put together. And this is such a key piece for like the 90s model off-duty look. A lot of them wear it with bandeau tops and crop tops. Um, so I think it's like a really versatile piece, not only for this aesthetic, but then for like other aesthetics beyond it. This next item is so strange. I'm gonna have to hear from some of you what you think about it, but basically it's this very long toque. I got it because it seems like it's really old vintage. There's this really long tag on it that says it's British wool made in PEI by British Woolen Knitters. It's kind of strange. I think it's supposed to like hang back behind your head like that. I also tried rolling up the sides. This isn't really something that like a 90s supermodel would wear, but um, I really had to get it. I thought it was just such a unique piece um, and I can't really pass those up. So I thought that was cute. Okay, moving on. I got this tan Tommy Hilfiger dress. It looks like the tag was just recently taken off. I feel like this preppy vibe is a little bit synonymous with like the 90s supermodel look. I really like the belts on it. I would probably wear it with like tall boots. I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna keep it, but I thought it definitely fit the theme of our video. And finally, I actually got another item and they are these brown riding boots. The brand is Clark's and they are 100% leather. I noticed in a lot of photos, they were often wearing really tall boots. This is just what I found for the theme. Um, I wanted to find riding boots on day one anyways, so this really worked out. I think they would be cute with jeans tucked into them. I also think they'd be really cute with like dresses or skirts that like go to here or here or even shorter than that. The reason I got these specifically was because I really, really liked the color of the leather. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, leave a like. And if you wanna see more videos from me, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.